the economy. I ain't talking about, I could talk about education, this is not, I could talk about uh, all the other things, but right now it's about paying your bills in the economy. That to me is a priority and that is what I want to make sure no one lose focus on. Before you vote, I want you to say this. Well, I'm going to vote for him because I like him. I'm going to vote for her because I like her. I'm going to vote for him because I like her. But I'm going to vote for Jimmy McMillan of the Rent Too Damn High Party because I need him. Case closed. How will the Rent uh, is Too Damn High Party tackle issues like gay marriage and the environment that doesn't necessarily... This is not the proper form for that, you know. When I was 15 years old, I was molested by the Ku Klux Klan. There's a lot of people out here gay, they don't look at you, don't even know about it. The point of it is leave people personal life alone. If you want to marry a shoe, like I said, I'll marry you. There's a lot of things that need to go deep and address with. But there's a lot of, a lot of people want to bring their personal issues into this, into the area, but that's not going to buy you any food. That's not going to buy you any dinner. Even though as governor, I know I have to address those issues. But, well, address but right them? now, there's nothing to address. You want to, who you want to marry? Let's go. I'll marry you. Give me a Bible. Case closed. That's it. You're going to legalize Case closed. Who am I to judge what, who you should marry and who you shouldn't? But you have to go through a lot of things, like the Senate. No, you don't. You have to go if I, put, if I say so. But you want to marry a shoe, you will get married. That's how it got to be. That's your life, not mine. You feel, you, if, you, if anybody, you understand how I put that? I'm not going to tell you what you can and can't do. Because a governor can't. It's not a police state. You marry who you want to marry. That's the way I look at it. We don't, I mean, I'm just telling you straight out. I teach martial art. My, my, my the martial art form that we teach, I don't care if you're a woman, you step in that ring with me, I'm going to try to take your head off. I know some women look as pretty as you and they will bust my butt if I gave, I closed my eyes. I don't turn my back on them. I don't trust them. I would throw a back kick on you in a moment. This is the women I, t I teach martial art. What I'm trying to say, teaching martial art, I teach discipline and respect. That's what this is. You're talking about res respect another person. You're no different to judge nobody else, and I don't do that. This is what makes us different. How would you reflect on your performance during the debate tonight? Well, I pat myself on the back. <laughs> if I can get my hands back there. I'm a little, I'm a big guy. This is my first time coming to something like I, I competed in karate tournaments over a thousand times. I walked away with the biggest trophy. But this is the first time I ever got into an arena like this, of this magnitude. I, you get the butterflies are there. If you gotta admit, if you don't have butterflies, you're not human. I have my little butterflies, but once, that's why the second, in the second round, what's the first thing I said? 